Hey everyone, this is Bob from EpicAperture.com and this is the portrait review of this lens which is Nikon 35mm 1.8 GDX lens and if you like this video make sure you leave a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below if you have any questions and make sure you subscribe. We'll see how this one goes. All right, my wife volunteered to be my beautiful model for this photo shoot with this lens, Nikon 35mm 1.8 GDX lens. And I even printed out a couple photos here to show you guys. And this one here is on a metallic print. And as you can see, it kind of turned out really good. I'm not claiming that these photos are uh, the best, but I should say that I am quite impressed with how these photos turned out. I'll actually leave another close-up um, shot for this for you guys to see but these are the photos this one is on a canvas and I like this one too like it kind of turned out really good from this crop sensor camera which was Nikon 30 I mean Nikon 50 D5200 that's what I coupled this lens with so yeah we'll go ahead and look at some more pictures I'll take you to my computer screen and we'll see those So here are some more pictures we took with this neat lens. As you can see, the images are crisp and clean. First thing I'd like to point out is the bokeh or blur background effect, which is desirable and really prominent with wide apertures. If you can position your subject in front of lights of some sorts, preferably colorful decoration lights like you see here, you could create some interesting pictures with this Nikon 35mm 1.8 GDX lens. Here are some more pictures for you to see the difference with what we took from that same area but with different backgrounds. Now let us take a quick look at the focal length and aperture range for this lens. Since it has a fixed focal length of 35mm you don't get to you don't get much to play around with focal length meaning there is no zooming in or out. If you need to do any further adjustments framing your subject, you'll find yourself physically moving closer or closer to your subject or vice versa. Moving closer or farther away from the subject with desired manipulation of aperture size could create nice and appealing shots. For this particular shot here, I used a small step ladder to give it an elevated point of view, which is really good for this shot anyway. As its name suggests, the Nikon 35mm 1.8 GDX can be dialed into a fixed aperture value anywhere from f1.8 to f22, where f1.8 being the widest and f22 being the smallest iris opening for the lens. The same fixed aperture feature supplements the um, low light cap capabilities of this lens. If you can control or add another source of light, like I've done in this picture, you can create some stunning portrait shots with this lens even in low lights like I mentioned. It really works that way. It is all up to your creativity though. Overall, I'd say this Nikon 35mm 1.8 GDX lens would be a perfect addition to your DSLR arsenal which has the potential to deliver crisp, clear and sharp images for your portrait needs as well. Alright, I really hope that you found this video helpful in attaining some insights about this neat little lens, Nikon 35mm 1.8 GDX lens. I would definitely recommend this lens, if, especially if you're a DSLR beginner. You can develop your photographic skills a lot with this lens. And do you have any other lens in your mind or are you going to buy this lens? Let, let us all know in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe and leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in next video. Bye.